Hey everyone, welcome home to Safe Haven, it's Brittany. So in today's video, I'll be showing you 7 amazing homes under $20 million in St. Catherine, Jamaica. Now, the most affordable of these homes will be $9.5 million, so stay tuned for that. And guys, remember, all links will be in the description box. Let's jump right into the video. The first home we'll be looking at is a house located in Waterford and it is listed for 9.5 million Jamaican dollars. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom house and this is a duplex which means that there's opportunity for you to rent out a portion of this house and get some income coming in. So that's just a really great deal. Now the house is located at Charisma Way to be exact and it is 750 square feet and the lot size is 995 square feet. Now one unit based on how the house is divided they said that one of the units is really large. I don't know if it will take like a studio type of setup and you know it have its own bathroom and everything that a tenant would need. Alright. The location is close to shopping plazas churches, banks, and different amenities. Of course, you will need to do some fixing up with this home, you know, but a little TLC, especially here in the kitchen area. Um, you need some cabinets. I'm not seeing much of that here. So the house needs some TLC, it needs some love, but it does come grilled. It does come walled. It does have ceiling fans. So there are some benefits to this house. So this is the first home, the Waterford house. So tell me what you think about this house down in the comment section. And guys, go ahead and give this video a like if you're liking the content so far. And there's a picture of the community. The next home is located in Palmetto East, Greater Portmore. It's listed at 16 million Jamaican dollars and this home is a three bedroom, one bathroom um, property. Now the, uh, the location is really close to the Portmore Mall. It stated that it's actually walking distance from the Portmore Mall. So you know that's an excellent catch right away. Um, when you're purchasing homes, location matters. And when I tell you that right now where I live, um, being so close to a lot of shopping plazas, supermarkets, everything that you would need, it is a truly a great asset and persons will jump on this home really quickly to get in it so of course you need some fixing up with this home definitely need some fixing up um, but it's workable it's doable need some upgrading the kitchen definitely needs some upgrading as you can see you're gonna have to do work um, the cabinets painting all of that the bathroom need help but i mean coming in at 16 million dollar for a three bedroom you can all allocate you know some funds to repairs because that entire bathroom to me it looks like it has to go it has to probably be gutted but you know you just take a contractor with you let's get some assessment done see how much it's going to cost you and then you go from there What do you think of this home guys? Our next home is one located in the Hellshire area. It's a three bedroom, two bath townhouse and it's listed at $19 million. It sits on a 1,430 square foot lot and the home is in really good condition, you know guys. Not that much upgrading, or fixing up needs to be done just you know to tweak it to your liking so if the kitchen if you want to you know adjust the countertop change it you know to something else that you may like of course painting maybe you want to go ahead and fix up the bathroom i would definitely 
fix the bathroom because it's outdated. <laughs> hmm. So right here at this house, I see where most of the money would have to go to the bathroom, fixing up the bathroom. Because you see these pink fixtures, you know, outdated. But still, in livable condition, if you want to move in right away and then work to fix it, that is also an option that you have. So here's a picture of you know the side yard and the backyard. So this is your drying yard. You have good space, you know, to dry your clothes. The next home is located in Westchester, Portmore, and this is actually a five-bedroom property and it's listed at 19.5 million jamaican dollars five bedroom three bathrooms so this one also boasts the opportunity for you to earn some income as it can be converted into a duplex so you know you can rent out one part and then you will live in the other part or if you want to just keep it all together if you have a large family this one is also great for you as you can see here um, I don't think much work will have to be done. The house even has ceiling fans. It was just the, to fix it up to your liking, right? So you're going to do those cosmetic changes that you would like. So if you want to go in again, I said like changing the countertops, of course, the paint on the wall, <laughs> the tiling with the kitchen backsplash. So just to put in things, the bathroom tiling definitely has to change. You know, it's outdated but it's not that big of a project where other fixer uppers you know may call or require for you to do it's not that big of an undertaking no, mainly just painting and you know cosmetic and last minute fixes that would be need made i really like how this section of the house too is open I like those sliding um, glass doors I believe probably this is a section where you may have to like rent out or that's a part designated for that as you can see you have the ceiling fans already in place it's not bad not bad not bad at all The room is look, looks like a really good sized room. As you can see, it can hold quite a few bedroom furniture pieces. And I believe that's also a closet right there. So it's a quite, quite a spacious bedroom. Really nice. And the really nice highlight to this house is this bathroom. Look at this bathroom. It has been updated. Right? So you have no work to do in this bathroom. None. Absolutely none. It has a double vanity. Those lovely tiles and backsplash going around. It even has a little, you know, medicine cabinet right there for you. So the work has been done to sections of this home. You know, it's just for you now to go in, you know, fix it up, complete it, put it, you know, to your liking and to your desire. So this is the Westchester home in Portmore. Tell me in the comments, guys, if you like this one. I think this is one of my favorite ones so far. You have this lovely sitting area you can come out look at your garden and you know get a little nice appreciation for your community this next home it's an unfinished home and it's in the golden view area of Spanish town all right so it's a split level home listed for 19 million dollars it's five bedrooms and three bathrooms my my, your money can go a long way in a St. Catherine though. My, us Kingstonians, we are cry man. We are cry, we are ball out. Even me from Satan. You can't get this in Satan, you know, for this money, boy. But of course, we kind of know the reason why sometimes these houses are priced like that. But a lot of these homes did say, you know, they're in good areas. 
good condition good nice paved roads and everything so this one you know it needs some help with these fix up or these unfinished homes i would say make sure you know you take your contractor go ahead check for structural damage many persons stop building for different reasons so don't be too perturbed and turned away all right so here is the Hellshire home and this one sits on a large lot it's listed for 19 million dollars three bedroom two bathroom property so this one too is also in an unfinished state but it seems to be in a much more livable state so just the exterior for this one is unfinished as you can see inside you know all the finishing has been done so far it has a washroom double carport but guys the real lovely selling point to this home it sits on a 7078 square foot lot it's already a large and spacious home but that is even more room for expansion you could even build up um, a section where you could have your children um, residing around that part or even another home where you could rent out a studio or one bedroom you never know the possibilities are endless when you have such a large lot look at this kitchen as well lovely large open concept kitchen cabinets seem to be in a good shape some of them seem to be newer and more updated bathroom will need fixing as you say you know those wall tiles are kind of outdated but yeah this one need a lot of fixing too <laughs> but still livable livable conditions for persons right just need to update this is the washroom the house is also grilled so you just need some attention just need some love a nice homeowner who has a good vision to just come in here is the double carport really really nice you just have to envision the house take out the person's um, belongings that you see in the house take it out you have to try to figure the house look at the house as a blank slate and see what you could do with it here is that large backyard as I was saying and the different areas room for expansion room for many things you can do your gardening whatever you please on this large lot so this is the last home that i'm showing you today it is a four bedroom two bathroom house located in the green acres community and they said this is just on the outskirts of spanish town it's listed for 19 million dollars it's unfinished on the upper floor so you can see this still is in place to you know continue on to the top floor but that hasn't been done so far but the bottom floor the ground floor you can see that it has been completed this house has a really large living space right this boasts that the community is in a private area paved roads quiet also i'm not familiar with this community if you know about green acres you can tell me about it in the comments but another selling point for this house is that it's also on a 7623 square foot lot so you can see everything in this house big look at that kitchen a lot of work will need to be done with <laughs> definitely definitely you need some cabinetry you need a lot of work countertops all of that but it's really large and for the lot size that you're going to get really really great value for your money right there so this seems to be you know this is still a part of the kitchen area and where that arch is that's like a dining area from what i'm understanding so even if you want to open up the arch all of that go ahead just need to do some cosmetic changes to make this home your own if you want to change out you don't even have to change the tile you know it's not my taste i would change it but a lot of persons would not have a problem with that tile that tile seems good as new here is the bathroom so even the bathroom not bad not much work to do not much work to do at all here's the bedroom it's closeted you know i just add, i would add some closet doors of course 
and you know the tile here I would change also but not bad not bad as you can see the house is really open airy large so this is a nice one here in the green acres community Alright, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, tell me which house was your favorite in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, I want to tell you I appreciate the support so, so, so much. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.